just try a little if it doesn't work. If, if Kraken doesn't blunder a queen, until move 20 are offer a draw and we proceed to play the blitz. Well, there's also this possibility that both of them believe they are the superior blitz player. Yeah, let's see how this unfolds. C4 finally, which I'm relieved to see. So no Berlins. Anymore. No Berlins and finally some action and uh, let's watch out for the move 17 18. Yeah, that's, the, that's, that, the that's dangerous a dangerous moment. spot. Yeah, bishop b4, which is once again good sign because d5 is throughout the studied. Bishop b4 is, well, a little bit less studied, even though still, of course, there is, there is theory. Knight d5, bishop c5. What do they play here? I believe it's castle short and then various. Uh, yeah, castle, yeah, castle short, short something like e3, I would imagine. Yeah, well, it depends, I believe, on black's very next move. Yeah, well, very often nowadays it's e3 and then uh, b3, bishop b2, sometimes even something with b4, and then knight h4, f4, those are, those are the ideas. Right, so right now Wesley is choosing between his options, and he, yeah, he does play e3, uh, he would be very happy for black to play knight x on d5 because then he can grab the c pawn and continue play d4. Uh, black would have a weakness on c7. Obviously, Sergei Karyakin is not going to do it. He is familiar with this position. He's he very rookie good play rookie. Yeah. And at some point, if I remember correctly, this rookie 8 is the signal that black might want to play for later on. But Wesley plays d2, d4. Well, black. Wow, I Bishop G4. Uh -huh. I was about to say Black is practically forced to take on D4, but Karyakin says no. Is this a known I'm, idea? I'm not familiar. I don't know. I mean, it was played pretty fast, so, so it that, must that be. much I can that much I can see. Yeah, so it Bishop must be G4. Idea. So, yeah, D takes on C5. The idea is to meet with E5, E4, and followed by Knight E5. Um, something unpleasant might be going on, so would pretty much force Wesley to play h3, but look, Yeah, well, he'll have to play h3. Wesley's surprised, at least he... I mean, he didn't play immediately, and we are playing a blitz game. Five yeah, so that, that means that he, he's got surprised, and this is an unpleasant surprise then. If you don't know what to do exactly in this position... So I would imagine he needs to take on c5, and after e4 you need to get rid of the pin because the knight e5 is such an annoying threat and plays something like h3. But at least... Uh, at dc5 played, yes. There's e4, some action going on. Wars. Knight c3. Knight back to c3. So he wants to take on e4? Does that... Uh, is that the point? So question is, what happens now after knight e5? Yeah, that, that's what I thought. What, black, what happens if black indeed plays knight e5? So that uh, if you take on e4, black recaptures on e4, remaining with this very unpleasant, well, seemingly very unpleasant pin on uh, d1, h5 diagonal. Knight c3, knight e5 indeed, right. yeah. Well, the feeling is that Wesley actually had to play h3. Yeah, uh, this, this is really surprising because he, he had, had to play, play h3. h3. So what do you do now about this pin? Because knight e4, knight e4, the pin is still there. A, a black one just wants to play knight g5. Yeah, takes, takes. Knight g5 is, uh, is the idea in this case. If h3 is played, then at the very least it's knight f3, bishop h3, black is winning some material. I believe Wesley just blundered with knight c3. I don't know what he blundered. It might have been that he thought that the pin is not so... Wow, and we have a queen sacrifice on the board. So after knight takes on e5, oh, wow. takes on d1, finally some action is going on. What is this? Oh, well, so they, they were waiting for the blitz game. <laughs> and then, then, then they start uh, the, the whole action. Yeah, knight e5, and possibly knight e5 is the best practical after he has blundered. Yeah, so knight e5, one more time. If knight e4 happens, black captures on e4, threatens knight g5 in case of h3. Swap here, bishop h3, leaves black with a huge advantage. Right, so Wesley proceed with, uh, after knight e5, with knight takes e5, bishop to d1, knight takes on f7, and it meant so. And right, then, if I'm gonna do go down, I'm, I'm gonna go down with music, right? Yeah, in a, in a glorious way. King <laughs> f7, I assume. Kyriakin, for some reason, is not very happy, it seems. Look, king f7, rook d1, I kind of get Wesley's point. But then he... He's going to take on d6 if white recaptures with the pawn, then b3, bishop b2, 
White is getting quite a decent play. Guys, I just I just beg you don't make a quick draw here because this is this is not a dead draw and here. Imagine knight f7, I offer a draw. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not gonna happen. I mean we are just I hope here. so. I hope so, but so sorry, he's uh, thinking about his queen e seven. So he's trying to. I mean, uh, black is so much ahead. The material white has some practical uh, compensation, uh, compensation, of course. But uh, yeah, he, especially for the blitz. I mean, queen e seven. Uh, rook takes on d one uh, feels like the natural. Okay, you, you can take on d six first. Doesn't really matter. Queen f seven, rook d one, and maybe can, uh, right, black is on time to take on c four because. The feeling is like you have to open more files, yeah? You have to open more files. I mean, knight takes on d6 and c takes on d6, it also looks extremely interesting, and it is played. Knight takes d6 played. Yeah, and c takes knight on d6, takes, and the one takes, the material takes, takes, what is the queen takes d6, so it is uh, one, two, two bishops and a couple of pawns. Well, actually, if white develops, he won't be worse at all. If he's on time to play b3, bishop b2, and then put uh, one of the pieces to d4, what is not worse at all? We are nearing the dangerous zone of 17, 18 move. Rook d1, queen e5, and now it's time for Wesley to play a move to <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um, but, but seriously, what to do for white now? Mm, he's... well, I'm not sure if it, this is the best version he could have because now he's in no position to play b3 bishop b2 it's simply too slow right as funny as it may sound i mean this position is easier to play for white in the blitz game because the most natural and black has to prove something and black is ahead of some material but uh, it's not really so clear it's quite amazing that wesley came up with this um, a practical resource to sacrifice the queen so and to add to that imagine under how much pressure koryakin finds himself because if he doesn't win this then you know it's not possible to come back in the game psychologically i mean for for next game it will okay. be really tough it wasn't really like he was immediately winning everywhere so wesley blundered uh, presumably he has a very bad position, but I wouldn't exactly name it as outright losing. But I mean, yeah, I mean, Sergey Karyakin has at least had a big advantage, and right now it's not so clear anymore, at least. So bishop e1, and white doesn't have all that many weaknesses, right? So what you normally do, well, b7, b6, okay. What you normally do here with black, you try to swap the rooks, I believe? Well, Perhaps you, 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 you try to swap as much as possible, right? Yeah, but how to do it? I mean, because you swap off the rooks, then the pawn on e4 most likely falls. Yeah. And then you have two bishops and a, a lot of pawns for the queen. Yeah, exactly. Well, rook d3 is Karyakin's choice here. Right after Wesley somehow weakened the c3 knight's position. Right. Maybe, possibly, it wasn't the most precise move, this b3, because now it seems he will have to take on take Can on I just d3. take rook d3, he takes rook d1 and knight d5? Uh, takes, takes, that's actually quite safe rook for d1, rook d8, and knight d5. Um, yeah, and okay, and black can sacrifice the exchange back, no? Or he can include rook takes on d3 or not? We'll see. We'll see, rook d1, rook d8, that's, that's the position we have in the game. That's the position we have in the game. So yes, if, let's say, if black does something like this and then moves the king, then white is, well, the feeling is like white is perfectly fine after rook d3, right? Right, that's, yeah, you don't want to allow That's this. a really great, uh, great position for white, okay, I mean, by the standards of this game, <laughs> right, I'm still not sure if white is like fully equalized, but by the standards of ga this game, white... Uh, I mean, it is a material equality on the board, it's two bishops. Well, there is still some points. queen a1, queen a2 business going on, but yeah, white, of course, for a blitz game, gets fantastic practical chances. The point, however, is that after bishop d5, black, of course, captures on d5, and then the question is, does this pawn promote or not? Right. So I don't think that Wesley is going to play knight e5 on find yeah, out if he's holding. Bishop to f1, attacking this pawn one more time. Queen to f5, so now 
The pawn is once again defended. The question is, can I play knight d5 now? Yeah, that's a very good question because knight d5, knight d5, knight d5, d5 you play knight knight d3. d3. Rook takes d3, then swap everything. Well, imagine black does something like defends the rook. I know. It's, it's not even possible. It's on the board. Yeah, you see, Vesely actually this played is, This is what has happened. Yeah. yeah, but I would imagine he would play something like king, king f8 to uh, go away from various spins because... Oh, well, there is also queen d3. That's the other thing. Queen d3, bishop d3, knight d3. But this is better for black, actually, because you have... Not sure at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure at all. Well, uh, well, my only move, it seems, is bishop e2. Yeah, but two bishops plus two pawns. This, this one, if black doesn't win immediately, he might end up being worse. Yeah, so you don't want to give the queen back. Of so how the magic king of fate? That would be the, the safe choice. Bring the king closer uh, to the center. You want to play king e7 uh, over here. Yeah, king of fate. Yeah, I think so. That's well, the then what, choice. I wanted, what I wanted to say that even a position like that, rook takes, rook takes, pawn takes, queen takes over here, and... Well, well, bishop just, c4 and a4? Maybe I check first, king e8, bishop c4, right, check, I go here, then a4, it might, might be just a fortress, you know. And king f8 is on the board, it feels most natural, and uh, c takes on d4 was played by Wesley, so, and now Sergei Kuryakin is thinking, king f8, c d5 first, okay. Why didn't he take the pawn on d5? Because, I can tell you why, bishop b4 check. And then, in case of king e8, and, and e4. otherwise otherwise it's an exchange wow. at bishop c4, and after king e8, there is e4, and all of a sudden white wins, because queen e4 is met with rook e3, so, well... That's an know. amazing resource, I would imagine he missed it. I mean, he played king f8, and most likely, then he noticed it on the board. Yeah, so, so it's wow. very much the situation a is really sharp now. So, what's going on? Yeah, so we probably should switch to the CD5, live board because A5. we are not going to be able to follow it uh, so quickly. Yeah, with uh, quite a delay, right? So, rook to d4 was played and Karyakin penetrates with his queen to a2. Well, he's got some chances, but on the king side, white has a lot of extra pawns, extra material. Yeah, check on f4. What do you do? That's actually dangerous for like black as trouble, well. It? Because king g8, d6 check. And then bishop, yeah, king e7, he has to play king e7, but then bishop takes on, bishop g7, takes on g7. Bishop f8 check, you can you can win the rook. Bishop f8 wow, check. Wow, that's unexpected, and suddenly white looks like he's white, winning. White is winning, bishop b5. King c7, rook f7, white is simply wow, winning. Wow, bishop b5, unbelievable. King c7, rook c4 ends the game. Wow. Rook c4 as well, rook c4 wins on the spot. <sighs> yeah, absolutely, wow. absolutely incredible, incredible game. Incredible game. Incredible, so, what can I say? I mean, such an incredible turnout of the events. Finally, we got the action. Yeah, absolutely. And he clearly blunted with knight c3, but then, credit to Wesley, right? He found the best practical idea to sacrifice the queen, and then Kuryakin was unable to navigate all those, uh, all those complications. Yeah, so, but you do have to admit it did feel uh, that uh, black was perhaps uh, technically... Uh